Is your APC Backups Pro 1000 alarm going off and the battery light blinking? Let's replace out the battery. Unfortunately, these rechargeable batteries don't last forever, uh, so they periodically need to be replaced out. Uh, replacing out the battery is more cost effective than uh, replacing out the entire unit, um, roughly half the cost. So uh, this is my second set of batteries for this unit. Uh, the first uh, was replaced in December 2017, so the uh, replacement battery has lasted about six and a half years, uh, which is better than I expected. So I figured I'd choose the same APC branded battery this time too. Uh, I went with the APC RB123 battery, which is a 7 amp hour battery. Uh, a quick alternative or hack is you can use the APC RBC124 battery, uh, which is a 9 amp hour battery uh, in the same UPS, and you get a little longer runtime. I'll put links to both batteries in the description below. Alright, let's start the replacement process. Uh, no tools are required for the battery replacement. Um, all you'll need is the replacement battery. Uh, here's the APC RBC123 battery. Uh, let's open it up. All right, and uh, nothing exciting here. It's like some warranty paperwork. Uh, information for California residents and uh, installation instructions and of course the battery itself. And here's the battery itself. Uh, we got some paperwork attached to it. Uh, we got the uh, build date, model number, serial number. Oh, and we got the fact that uh, the battery passed uh, testing. And one thing that's interesting about this battery compared to others is that there is a uh, built-in plug right here in the back. Um, unlike some of the other uh, UPS batteries that I replaced that required uh, fiddling with cables. And the uh, battery replacement process is uh, extremely simple. First, let's power off the UPS by holding down the middle power button. And then let's unplug it from the wall. Alright, so let's lay the UPS down on its left side. That'll expose the battery cover. And now we're just going to push in on these two tabs and pull up. And that'll expose the uh, batteries. And now use these two pull tabs to remove the battery. And this is interesting. So the new battery has a red side and a uh, green side. So as stated right here, we want to insert it this way. Make sure it's snug. And reinstall the cover. There's slots, uh, so they slide into place. All right, now I'm gonna plug in the unit. All right. And although it shows a uh, full charge, I'm gonna let it charge overnight just to make certain. All right, so what I did was I let the battery charge for 24 hours and it's been running for the past three days without issue. It's uh, running as expected. Uh, let's see, so we got the output vo voltage at uh, 120, uh, output hertz at 60, input 118, 119, uh, events one. So uh, let me show you how to clear this. So all you have to do is hold down the menu button and tap on the power button. There you go. And now it shows as uh, zero. 
And here's the estimated runtime, 70 minutes. Load, uh, 71, 72 watts. Load percentage is 11%. And then back to the output at uh, 119 volts. And out of habit, uh, I always put the date the battery was uh, replaced. Uh, that way I could determine how long the uh, battery lasted. In summary, it's an extremely easy replacement and uh, most definitely cheaper than buying a new unit. I'll put links to the two battery options below and uh, don't forget to properly recycle your used battery. If you found this video helpful, please click like, comment, and consider becoming a subscriber. Thank you.